shot in the arm and a 16 with about a month left until March the Valparaiso men's basketball team has up the ante to finish well in the Horizon League going six and two the last eight games as of February 6 a big part of their push has been the blossoming talent of their underclassmen we, we have nine freshmen and sophomores, and I think the key has been that they, the freshmen and sophomores have really improved drastically. And as they've improved, it's made our basketball team a lot better. We knew. We had a lot of faith in this team. It was just a matter of time to get experience. The Crusaders have been no strangers when it comes to experience and playing top-notch competitors. Early in the season, Valpo faced three teams in the nation's top ten at the time of the game all of them away from their home floor. But some of Valpo's players had some extra experience even before the season started. I, I uh, finished the season back home in Australia. Uh, I think we finished about Ju the end of July. I was playing in the Under-19 World Championships and, and had a really good tournament there when we finished fourth. Um, and just the hard work I did to prepare for that uh, kind of carried over and into uh, playing over here and it just gave me the confidence that I've done the work before I've already got here. And the work has paid off for the Aussie. Coming off the bench, Brokoff scored a career best 20 points at Loyola on January 23rd, where Valpo exploded for an 86 67 win against the Ramblers. It was kind of, it was just one of those nights, I think. Uh, Corey and uh, Howard and everyone just keep finding me for my shot, and, and they started to drop. And as once, once you get into that kind of rhythm with your shooting, it's it's a, it's a really good feeling. And he's been shooting the ball uh, very, very consistently for us, but he's also gotten some key rebounds. He's an excellent passer um, and has gotten some blocks and steals. And most recently, Brokoff has put his rebounding skills on display, pulling down 13 and 11 rebounds against Wright State and Detroit, respectively. And of course, everyone loves the accent. Everyone seems to like the accent. Uh, I'm not going to lie, they, they, it kind of helped, helped me break the ice a little bit to get to know people. And uh, everyone's great around here. Another freshman who has stepped up his game as of recent is Matt Kenny. Uh, Matt Kenny from uh, the Indianapolis area, Mooresville, and, and, and his defense and rebounding has been playing very important. Kenny came up big, scoring 11 points in a big road win against Green Bay on January 31st and also registered four blocks against Detroit at home on February 6th. As Valpo looks ahead to the remaining schedule, their goal, like any other season, is to get a bid to the NCAA tournament. The next 10 days are going to be crucial because they're going to set what's going to happen uh, as the season winds down and you, as you get the pairings into the tournament. And of course the tournament, we want to go to the NCAA, that's our goal.